watching my channel. Welcome back. Today I'm doing a video I'm super excited about. I've wanted to do this video since literally before I even had children. It is the What My Babies Are Getting For Christmas. I said babies. I only have one baby. What Halo Haven is getting for her very first Christmas. You can see her little feet. She's so cute. She's just watching her very favorite show, Whisker Haven, which I think is really cute. That's her favorite show as well. It's really cute. And there's an episode and it's called um, Happy... Halo Haven, and it sounds like they're saying Halo Haven, which is her name, and so we love that episode, it's really cute. So I first want to say a big thank you to Santa Claus. Thank you to Santa Claus for sending all of these beautiful presents early so I can film them and show this video to y'all. So thank you so much, Santa Claus. That was really awesome of you to do that. And I have a disclaimer before we dig into everything that I show you that I got for my daughter Halo. Um, I am so blessed to have an incredible mother, an incredible sister, and all these wonderful family members that have literally got her so much. I don't even know all the things that she's getting gifted because my mother loves a surprise, even if it's <laughs> not for me. She wants me to be surprised. It's for my baby. She's so cute. But, um, they have given her so much. I mean, like I said, I don't know what she has yet, but I know a lot of things. And they have already bought her all of the beautiful Leapfrog baby toys. The Halo just turned six months, so there's so many great six month and up toys. So many beautiful Leapfrog ones. So many great Fisher Price ones that link up together. She's getting all of those. So many teething toys. So many sensory toys. Baby gems. Just like all of these wonderful things that they've literally bought all of the baby items that I would have been getting her. And so since they got all of these wonderful baby items for Halo already, it kind of left me to be able to buy her just things that I wanted her to have. And um, that's also why I don't have that much stuff, or I guess depending on how you view it, why I have so much stuff. It just depends on the kind of shopper you are, I guess. Um, I didn't necessarily have a strict budget for this, um, I just kind of bought what I wanted for Halo, um, and yeah, so a lot of these things are recommended for two-year-olds, three-year-olds, etc., but I will go through everything, explain why I got it. Some things will probably possibly stay on the box and possibly stay untouched for years, possibly, and that probably sounds really silly to some people, but to me, I know how toys work. I know in a year a lot of this stuff will not be available. Like, my daughter Halo has a collection of uh, Lala Loopsy dolls. If you're a mother, if you've been a mother for a while, of a girl or a boy that likes Lala Loopsies, then you know that they don't sell those anymore. They stopped selling them in 2018. And my daughter was born in 2019. And I wanted her to have those dolls, so I have been headhunting for those toys. And she has a collection of them that I bought all uh, used at, like, flea markets and buy, sell, trade and stuff, because I had to. I couldn't buy them in store new like I would have wanted to do. So that is why a lot of these things have been purchased for her already, because I know once she's old enough to have them, they will not be available. And I just want them to have, I just want her to have these toys. So that's really my whole thing. What on earth are you doing? I'm going to start with the little, littler items. I got her, it's just a really beautiful, sweet, soft baby blankie child of mine and it has really precious little sheep on there and it's just um the little baby mink and it's soft and precious and um we can never have enough baby blankets so i did get her one of these it's so sweet i love it so much um i got halo one movie from uh, santa and it is the tale of despero i got this on black friday probably recognize this if you were a black friday shopper at walmart it was only a dollar 96 and i absolutely love this book and this movie so that would be really sweet if my daughter had it as well and then I got this which obviously she cannot read herself but I love to read to Halo so I bought this so I could read these stories to Halo it is the um, frozen five minute stories this is um, $12.99 but I got it on Black Friday for only five dollars which is a killer deal because look how big this book is I'm super excited random page in there so so cute super excited about this. I love books and I really want her to love to read like I love to read. Okay, so the next toy that I got her, I got her a long time ago on Amazon. You can also get this at Target. It is the Baby Alive Love and Snuggle Baby. Um, I've said this before, Halo Haven loves babies. We watch Erin Williams, all of her babies. She has three girls and she just had baby Reese. She was pregnant with Baby Reese when I was pregnant with Halo when I was having Halo. Halo loves to watch Baby Reese 
on Erin Williams vlogs. Erin Williams, you're obviously not watching this, but if you ever did, my baby is your youngest fan. She's only six months and she loves you and your babies. So I really wanted to get her a baby doll. And this is just a sweet, soft little baby doll with a little bottle and she has the little thumbs that you can suck which I think is sweet because my baby's actually a little thumb sucker and she's blonde and blue eyed just like Halo and I just could not pass her up. She has a little soft body. She was only $11 on Amazon. Her first little baby alive. I, I could not not get this purse. The sweetest little thing. I just love her. I think she's precious and I feel like Halo's going to love playing with her. Halo got the um, Baby Born Lullaby Baby for her birthday, her half birthday. I have a video up about that and she loves that baby so much. That makes me really excited about this baby and how much I think she will really, really love her. So the next thing that I got her, I looked at at Walmart and I almost bought it there and then I thought that it was too much for what it was. I thought it was just silly to get her uh, a, stuffed animal, a stuffed animal that was $30. But then I was at TJ Maxx and I found it for $12.99, more than half off. So of course I got it. It is the Fingerling Hugs and this is Bella. And we watched the little Fingerling show on YouTube. And so I feel like Hale's going to be really excited. There she is. She's a big stuffed animal. And I think her eyes close. Oh, yeah. Her little eyes close when you lay down. And she, um, I believe, makes some noises. 40 plus sounds. Just like the robotic fingerlings. I think the fingerlings are precious. I love fingerlings. And since, um, since I found it at Target, I mean, at TJ Maxx, they've already gone down on um, rollover or whatever it's called at Walmart where they're cheaper. So that means they're probably going to get rid of these soon, which is another reason that I really wanted to get it. Like I said, I just wanted to have it. But I do think this will be something that she could play with soon. It's soft and it makes all the noises. And another mom I talked to said that her baby girl had this and loved it from the age of only one. So I think Caleb will really enjoy this little baby monkey toy. Okay, the next thing I got is so beautiful, and this is definitely a toy that she can play with now, but it'll just be a little difficult for her to play with for right now. Um, it's so beautiful. We went Black Friday shopping, and we ran into JCPenney, which had killer deals. I will go to JCPenney every year now. Oh my goodness, I got an amazing item for my mother that I can't say because my mother will probably watch this video. Hey, Molly. Um, but it's so sick, and it was the best Black Friday deal and savings I've ever gotten in my life, so I was super excited about that but I picked up this for my beautiful Halo and my mother paid for it of course because she's my mommy and she's what she is but this is the Rapunzel toddler doll from Disney I love her so much isn't she beautiful she has the really long hair and she is on the back the box is just gorgeous she is stunning and this is actual Disney She's so beautiful. I love her little dress and she's barefoot because she's like barefoot the whole movie. So I think that is just precious. These are normally $24 and we snagged her for only $11. What is wrong, baby? Are you okay? So yeah, that was the Rapunzel toddler doll. I love her so much. I think she's so precious and I just know that Hale will be collecting those Disney dolls for like the rest of her life, for her little baby life. So I just thought it was fitting to get her one for her first Christmas. And this next item is definitely a bigger girl item, but I know for a fact she's going to love this, and I'll tell you why in a second. It is the Crybaby. Oh my gosh. Okay, one, if you've ever seen my daughter, this Crybaby looks just like Halo. Like, literally, like, her face. That is Halo's face in a baby. I've never seen a baby doll look so much like my child. And I don't know if I'm just being crazy, but I really do think this looks identical to Halo Haven. And she is in a little car seat. She's soft. She's actually a hard baby, but her little onesie is super soft. She's a binky. I love binkies. Oh, my halo doesn't like binkies, but I love to look at a baby with a binky in its mouth. I think it's the sweetest thing ever. So I just love her. She's stunning. She's a unicorn. Her name is Dreamy. She's the Walmart exclusive. She is stunning. I love her, love her, love her. She's just a little crab baby. She'll cry when you take her binky. <clears throat> and I don't know, she cries a lot. Um, well, sad baby. And another reason I got this for my Halo because we always call Halo our crybaby. You can probably hear her whining in the background. She just ate, she's playing, she's fine, but she's crying because my little Halo is a little crybaby. She cries all the time. She's so cute though, my goodness. So I just love her. And the reason I know she's going to love her, other than the fact that she's a baby, is my mother got her one of the minis for her birthday, for her half birthday. 
and um, the little parts she can't play with, but the doll's actually really big. This is the doll. She's like a really good sized doll, and Halo loves this doll, little Ellie doll. Just how cute are these? Oh my gosh, I love, love, love this. Here you go, baby. Here, you want to she loves that doll. It's so cute. But I keep all of the other parts in the house because she cannot play with those yet. They are way, way too small. But another thing I just want her to have and collect. I love them. I love them so much. Seriously, so cute. I'm really excited about Halo getting this doll. I think she's just going to love it. Love it, love it, love it. So this is Halo's big present. This definitely is not for her age range. This is probably the one thing y'all are going to be like, you're so stupid for getting this for your baby. But I have a great story for it. And if you still don't like it after that, then I can't sell you on it. But I sold myself on it. I love this. This is the My Generation Noel Holiday Doll. Look at her. She's beautiful. She comes with pajamas. A book which is so awesome. I love the ones that come with books. She's a full set. She has all of this um, presents and cookies and milk for Santa. A letter from Santa. She's wearing a beautiful holiday outfit. She's just so stunning. I love her. Love her. Love her. Love her. And at first I was looking at this because I have a friend who had a baby two days after I had Halo and she named her baby Noel. So I was taking pictures of her and saying to her, I was like, I know our babies are little, but you literally have to get Noel this doll. It has her name on it. And so uh, she got it and then I was looking at it and I was like, I'm going to get this for Halo. I can't not. I really wanted to get Halo a 2019 holiday doll. I didn't know which one I wanted to get her. I was going to get her the Barbie one in the box. And she could just collect that forever. You know, we did that when we were younger. We all had dolls that were just collectibles at the box. Um, the LOL one that had 2019 on it. Or, you know, something like that. I just wanted her to have something that had the year of her very first Christmas. And this one, of course, doesn't say the year, but this one she'll take out of the box because um, she already has one. <laughs> um, I actually have, I had one when I was a little girl and my mother got it out of the storage unit so I could give it to Halo and she's over here and she's a little beat up because she is an older baby. This is Haley. <laughs> this was my doll I had when I was a little girl and I just think it's so sweet. She's actually in pretty good condition for a doll that is as old as Haley, as um, little Haley is here. So Haley is going to get a friend here soon. I'm so excited for uh, Christmas to come for Haley to get off her toys and so Haley can get her Noelle doll and put her next to her Haley doll and they will literally be my generation dolls because that doll was from my generation. She's about 14 years old. I'm only 23 so I don't really know how long these dolls have been around but they were around when I was a kid and I loved them because I'm completely obsessed with American Girl dolls. They were so stupid expensive. They just are. And my mother had lots of kids, so the My Generation dolls just fit better for us, and I love, loved it. I loved my doll so much. So I am just so excited that I got one for my Halo. And she does have blonde hair um, that looks like Halo, but she has brown eyes, but that's okay. I, I love it. Halo has very bright blue eyes, if you didn't know. But I just think that she is so gorgeous, and she looks so much like the one that I have, and I just think it's sweet that Halo now has these two that are literally her generation and my generation. I, I really love it. I just think it's so sweet. And I know it's a big toy, and I know it might seem silly, but honestly, I don't care. I want her to have it, and so that's why I got it for her. So I love it, and I'm super excited, and I love it. So that's all of the, that's all of the toys, well, the presents, but um, then I also have a stocking for Halo. So let's get into that. It's overfilling. But here is Halo's stocking. I love it. It's just one of those um, little secret ah, little secret ones. I'm gonna put her name right here. I haven't done that yet. Um, I got this at Dollar Tree. I decided just to get a quick throwaway um, stocking, and I'm probably gonna do that every year. So the first thing I got her actually is a baby toy. <laughs> this is the Hug and Tug Musical Monkey. And it makes the little noises. And it's so, so cute. We love that. The next thing I got her, I literally could not 
resist this. It's literally just a stuffed animal, so I don't know why she wouldn't be able to play with this, but, you know, obviously she doesn't play with anything without my supervision anyway, but she definitely can play with this Kirito. And if you don't know, it's, it's a blanket that looks like a tortilla, and then there's a little toy stuff toy in it and i am going to open all of these on camera with halo on christmas morning when i vlog all of christmas oh my goodness so next i got these really precious little squishies i found these at dollar tree and how cute are these i saw these online some dollar tree vlogger was showing these and i was like i absolutely have to find this so this is a little prince then there is a like snow white girl and then there is like a Robin Hood. And then there is just a princess. And she looks like Princess Peach from Mario, I think. And she's probably trying to be Sleeping Beauty. But they're so cute. They're so cute for a dollar. So this was great. And they're soft and she can chew on them if she wants to. She doesn't really have any teeth yet. Well, she has two, but not enough to like take chunks out of anything yet. Thing I love, oh my goodness. This is the Smushy Mushy Baby. And this is a little surprise egg, you know, everything's a surprise now. And it has the little milk, just like you would give a baby doll back in the day. And you're going to get one of these little babies as a squishy. Which, like, I can't even handle the cuteness of this. My niece got two of them, and they're precious. So I'm super excited to see which baby she gets on Christmas. Next, we have a Dinosaur Train Mystery Hatchimal. That'll be really cute. And this is only two and up, so it's better and closer to our age group, and we'll see what's in that. I found that at Dollar Tree. Actually, last year I kept it. I was pregnant and I wanted to keep it. And then the last thing is a Frozen 2 plush surprise. So this is just a plushy toy in here. You can get, like, Anna, um, Elsa, Kristoff, Sven, or Olaf. And that was literally the only things that would fit in here. Normally, if she's you know, any bigger, she would get more stuff in her stocking, even though she's a literal baby. I need to remember that. So this is all plenty for her. Um, you know, some people would probably say not enough. Some people would say too much. It just depends on who you are. But I love everything I got for my baby. I'm so super excited. And if you see Halo's little feet, she's literally just watching TV. I don't want y'all to think that she's like... See, she's just playing with her toy, watching TV. She's fine. Um, but yeah... I'm so super excited with everything that I got. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. Thank you, Santa, for bringing all of this to me early so I could show and share everything with y'all early. It was so super fun. I loved going through everything. I can't wait to show you everything else that Halo gets for Christmas. She's such a blessed baby this year. She's been such a blessing to us that we really just wanted to celebrate her. And um, we're really big Christmas people. Also, I have to add that in there. We just really, really love Christmas. Uh, Christmas is our jam so of course we kind of go a little overboard and this is my first baby and you know who knows possibly my only baby so it's just really fun to um, have all these first time mommy experiences so it's just been really really great. Um, I do want to add in that I made a video talking about a diaper bag for Kia babies. I have that video up, and I have a coupon code on there that only lasts the rest of this month, and that's really the only reason I'm bringing it up. I get no kickback from that coupon code. It doesn't give me any money or anything like that, so I'm not promoting anything to get me money. It's just a collaboration I did with Kia babies. They did send me the diaper bag for free in return for my unbiased, honest review. I do happen to love the diaper bag. I've literally used it every single day since I uh, received the diaper bag so I do have the coupon code I'll put it right here and in the description with the website it is for 20% off with free shipping on anything on the website it's really great I know you'll love it if you have any questions let me know thank you so much for watching I'm so thankful for everybody that watched I'm so excited about Christmas I just cannot wait um, I'm so excited. I want my baby to hopefully love everything. I hope y'all's Christmas is wonderful. I'm excited to show y'all all of our fun Christmas activities that we have planned this year. We're really doing some special things this year, and I'm really, really super excited. So thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all next time. Bye. And it's not a video unless you see Halo. So I wanted to show y'all Halo Haven today. We're just wearing a little simple onesie, but she has this beautiful bow on. Really just for fun, because it's it's huge and it's probably not comfortable to crawl around in. 
but we love it. Oh, and it pokes mommy right in the eye. Hi. Say hello to everybody. Say hello to everybody. Hello. Say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching so much. We appreciate it. And please subscribe and like and hit the notification bell. That helps us so much in no idea. So thank you so much for watching. Bye. You say bye-bye. You say bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody.